I will wade out till my thighs are steeped in burning flowers. I will take the sun in my mouth and leap into the ripe air, alive with closed eyes to dash against darkness in the sleeping curves of my body shall enter fingers of smooth mastery with chasteness of sea girls will I complete the mystery of my flesh I will rise after a thousand years lipping flowers and set my teeth in the silver of the moon. I like my body when it is with your body. It is so quite new a thing. Muscles better and nerves more. I like your body. I like what it does. I like its house. I like to feel the spine of your body and its bones and the trembling firm smoothness and which I will again and again and again kiss. I like kissing this and that of you. I like slowly stroking the shocking fuzz of your electric fur and what is it comes over parting flesh and eyes big love crumbs and possibly I like the thrill of under me you so quite new My love, thy hair is one kingdom, the king whereof is darkness. Thy forehead is a flight of flowers. Thy head is a quick forest filled with sleeping birds. Thy breasts are swarms of white bees upon the bow of thy body. Thy body to me is April, in whose armpits is the approach of spring. Thy thighs are white horses yoked to a chariot of kings. They are the striking of a good minstrel, between them is always a pleasant song. My love, thy head is a casket of the cool jewel of thy mind. The hair of thy head is one warrior, innocent of defeat. Thy hair upon thy shoulders is an army, with victory and with trumpets. Thy legs are the trees of dreaming, whose fruit is the very eatage of forgetfulness. Thy lips are satraps in scarlet, in whose kiss is the combinings of kings. Thy wrists are holy, which are the keepers of the keys of thy blood. Thy feet upon thy ankles are flowers, 
in vases of silver. In thy beauty is the dilemma of flutes. Thy eyes are the betrayal of bells comprehended through incense. If I believe in death, be sure of this. It is because you have loved me. Moon and sunset, stars and flowers, gold crescendo and silver muting of sea tides. I trusted not one night when in my fingers drooped your shining body when my heart sang between your perfect breasts darkness and beauty of stars was on my mouth petals danced against my eyes and down the singing reaches of my soul spoke the green greeting pale departing irrevocable sea I knew the death and when I offered up each fragrant night when all my days shall have before a certain face become white perfume only from the ashes then thou wilt rise and thou wilt come to her and brush the mischief from her eyes and fold her mouth the new flower with thy unimaginable wings where dwells the breath of all persisting stars Somewhere I have never traveled, gladly beyond any experience, your eyes have their silence. In your most frail gesture are things which enclose me, or which I cannot touch, because they are too near. Your slightest look easily will unclose me. Though I have closed myself as fingers, you open always petal by petal myself as spring opens, touching skillfully, mysteriously her first rose. Or if your wish be to close me, I and my life will shut very beautifully suddenly as when the heart of this flower imagines the snow carefully everywhere descending nothing which we are to perceive in this world equals the power of your intense fragility whose texture compels me with the color of its countries rendering death and forever with each breathing i do not know what it is about you that closes and opens only something in me understands the voice of your eyes is deeper than all roses nobody not even the rain has such small hands
in the rain darkness the sunset being sheathed I sit and think of you the holy city which is your face your little cheeks the streets of smiles your eyes half thrush half angel and your drowsy lips where float flowers of kiss and there is the sweet shy pirouette your hair and then your dance song soul rarely beloved a single star is uttered and I think of you It is at moments after I have dreamed of the rare entertainment of your eyes when, being fool to fancy, I have deemed with your peculiar mouth my heart made wise. At moments when the glassy darkness holds the genuine apparition of your smile it was through tears always and silence molds such strangeness as was mine a little while moments when my once more illustrious arms are filled with fascination when my breast wears the intolerant brightness of your charms one pierced moment whiter than the rest turning from the tremendous lie of sleep I watch the roses of the day grow deep Listen, beloved, I dreamed, it appeared that you thought to escape me and become a great lily, a tilt on insolent waters. But I was aware of fragrance, and I came riding upon a horse of porphyry into the waters I rode down the red horse shrieking from splintering foam caught you clutched you upon my mouth listen beloved I dreamed in my dream you had desire to thwart me and become a little bird and hid in a tree of tall marble from a great way I distinguished singing and I came riding upon a scarlet sunset trampling the night easily from the shocked impossible tower I caught you strained you broke you upon my blood listen beloved I dreamed I thought you would have deceived me and become a star in the kingdom of heaven through day and space I saw you close your eyes and I came riding upon a thousand crimson years arched with agony I reined them in tottering before the throne and as they shied at the automaton moon from the transplendent hand of somber God I picked you as an apple is picked 
by the little peasants for their girls. I have loved, let us see if that's all, bit into you as teeth in the stone of a musical fruit, my lips pleasantly grown on your taste, jumped the quick wall of your smile into stupid gardens, if this were not enough, not really enough Pulled one before one the vague, tough, exquisite flowers whom hardens richly darkness. On the whole, possibly have I loved you, sheath before sheath, stripped to the odor, and here's what whoever will know, had you as bite teeth. I stood with you as a foal stands, but as the trees lay which grow. tall with hard long eyes as she stands with her long hard hands keeping silence on her dress good for sleeping in her long hard body filled with surprise like a white shocking wire when she smiles a hard long smile it sometimes makes gaily go clean through me tickling aches and the weak noise of her eyes easily files my impatience to an edge my girls tall and taut with thin legs just like a vine that spent all of its life on a garden wall and is going to die when we grimly go to bed with these legs she begins to heave and twine about me and to kiss my face and head. Thy fingers make early flowers of all things. Thy hair mostly the hours love, a smoothness which sings, saying, though love be a day, do not fear we will go a maying. Thy whitest feet crisply are straying, always Thy moist eyes are at kisses playing, whose strangeness much says, singing, though love be a day, for which girl art thou flowers bringing? To be thy lips is a sweet thing and small. Death, thee I call rich beyond wishing. If this thou catch, else missing, though love be a day, and life be nothing, it shall not stop kissing.
The moon is hiding in her hair. The lily of heaven, full of all dreams, draws down. Covers her briefness in singing. Close her with the intricate faint birds by daisies and twilights. Deepen her. Recite upon her flesh the rain's pearls singly whispering. My naked lady framed in twilight is an accident whose niceness betters easily the intent of genius. Painting wholly feels ashamed before this music and poetry cannot go near because perfectly fearful. Meanwhile, these speak her wonderful but I, having in my arms caught the picture, hurry it slowly to my mouth, taste the accurate demure, ferocious rhythm of precise laziness, eat the price of an imaginable gesture, exact, warm, unholy, When I have thought of you somewhat too much and am become perfectly and simply lustful, sense a gradual stir of beginning muscle and what it will do to me before shutting, understand I love you, feel your suddenly body reach for me with a speed of white speech, the simple instant of perfect hunger, yes. How beautifully swims the fooling world in my huge blood, cracking brains. A swiftly enormous light and furiously puzzling through prismatic whims, the chattering self perceives with hysterical fright a comic tadpole wriggling in delicious mud. asked me to come. It was raining a little, and the spring, a clumsy brightness of air, wonderfully stumbled above the square, little amorous tadpole people, wiggled, battered by stuttering pearl, leaves jiggled to the jiggling fragrance of newness, and then my crazy fingers liked your dress, your kiss. Your kiss was a distinct brittle flower, and the flesh crisp set my love tooth on edge. So until light, each having each, we promised to forget. Wherefore is there nothing left to guess? The cheap intelligent thighs, the electric trite thighs, the hair stupidly.
priceless. Consider, O oh woman, this my body, for it has lain with empty arms upon the giddy hills to dream of you. Approve these firm, unsated eyes, which have beheld night's speechless carnival, the painting of the dark with meteors streaming from playful immortal hands the bursting of the wafted stars in time to come you shall remember of this night amazing ecstasies slowly in the glutted heart fleet flower terrible memories shall rise slowly Return upon the red elected lips, scaleless visions.